I'm going to take this bad boy out again today. Um, I've finally got the appropriate motor for it. The jet people suggest if you're going to run 10 or 12 S, do so on around about 300 kV. Uh, 56 mil motor that's 110 120 mil long when i first ran it um, i just ran on one of these little babies which is this was a twin twin motor boat so i just used what i had what came with the boat and this is a 56 by only 60 mil long uh, this is a thousand kv so i ran it on between four and six s and it went okay but it was nothing special the lowest I had available in stock, lowest KV, was one of these TP 58 mil by 90 mil motors. This is 490 KV, and I ran that on 12S, and it it was an absolute animal. Um, I should I should have videoed it. Um, I think it the combination of it being a Y wind motor rather than a D wind didn't help things either, and the thing just got. It was fast, but it just got so hot it wasn't funny. So now I've got one of these. The lowest, the lowest big motor like this that TP make in the catalog is 600 kV. But I got um, asked nicely and got them to make me up a 350 kV. This is 110 mil long, to well 60 to 90 to 110, which is more what they what the jet people suggest. It's also a D wind motor which is going to be more talky, which is what the jet, I think, needs. Um, plus TP were kind enough to make me one of their uh, special ones that they don't really talk about. But um, it has more power than um, these are rated at, these 110 mil long ones, and they can do more RPMs. So I'm just waiting for my soldering iron to come to heat up now, and I'm going to put the 8 mil terminals on, charge up my batteries, and take it for a spin. And remember to take my video this time. Shit. Okay. Fuck now. <laughs> 